Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial on Java programming. So in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys, you know, how to read the input from the user for an array. So in this case, you know, we're not going to be knowing how many elements the user is going to enter. So what we're going to do is we're going to ask the user how many values you can enter and we're going to take the input from the user and then we can allocate the array depending on that length or you know the value entered by the user and then you know we're gonna read the input all right so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna create a integer variable you know which is gonna contain the length of the array which will be entered by the user so it's gonna be an integer variable and let's call it as length all right the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna ask the user how many values that you're gonna enter and here in this tutorial for the demonstration purpose we're gonna write a program you know now which is gonna read the names from the user so let's say you know the user is gonna enter the names of his friends so I'm gonna ask the user here so it's gonna be system dot out dot print line and I'm gonna say how many friends name that you are gonna enter all right then we're gonna read the input from the user so to read the input from the user we need to have an object from the scanner class so we're gonna create that so it's gonna be scanner and let's call it as input equal to new scanner and then we're gonna pass system dot in all right and also we need to import the scanner class so I'm just gonna double click here you know it's gonna import the scanner class all right the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna receive the input from the user and we're gonna store that in this length variable so it's gonna be length equal to and then input dot next int because you know we're gonna be reading an integer value now we know how many values that user is gonna enter so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna allocate the array we're gonna allocate the array with that length so in this case you know our array is gonna contain string values so it's gonna be string and let's call our array as names so it's gonna be names equal to new string and then we're gonna pass the length so now we have an array all right the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna read the input from the user and we're gonna store that in this names array so I'm gonna use the for loop and I'm gonna create a loop counter variable and it's gonna be counter and I'm gonna initialize this one with a value of 0 so I'm gonna be initializing this with a value of 0 because you know uh, because you know the array index also starts from zero and so that i can easily use it with the arrays and then you know i'm gonna write the condition you know counter less than the length that's because the last element will be stored in the index one less than the length of the array and then we're gonna increment the counter value counter plus plus so here inside this for loop we can ask the user to enter the name of the friend one then enter the name of the friend two and like that so and we're gonna store the values in our names array so i'm just gonna use the system dot out dot print line to ask the user and i'm gonna say enter the name of friend and then i'm gonna append counter plus one so here you know i have used this parenthesis you know if you miss this parenthesis here then you know it's gonna append the value of this counter variable and then it's gonna append one so it's gonna print out you know um, enter the name of the friend the counter value zero then one then uh, one and uh, one like that so we don't want that I want to print it enter the name of the friend one then enter the name of the friend 2 enter the name of the friend 3 like this so if you want to check it you guys can remove this parenthesis and you guys can check it you know when you run this program all right the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna read the input from the user and we're gonna store that in this names array so it's gonna be names and then we're gonna refer to the index which is in the counter variable so it's gonna be counter 
equal to we're gonna read from the input I'm gonna use the object from the scanner class you know which is input and then I'm gonna use the next method so I'm gonna use the next method here then add the semicolon so this is gonna read the input from the user and it's gonna store that in the names array so first it's gonna ask for entering the name of the first friend and then it's gonna read the input and it's gonna store it in this array then again it's gonna ask for the uh, name of the friend too and then it's gonna read it it's gonna store it and you know similarly you know it's gonna ask for the names all right the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna close our uh, scanner object input so I just because you know we're not gonna be reading any values further on so it's gonna be input dot close that's it and then the last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna print out the values which we have read from the user so I'm gonna use this for loop again so I just gonna copy this and paste it here and uh, I'm gonna remove this line and also I'm gonna copy this print line statement and I'm gonna paste it before the for loop and I'm gonna say your friends are and that's it then you know just gonna refer the names here or you know the values of the names array so it's gonna be names and then the index will be in the counter variable all right this is it now I'm gonna save this program and I'm gonna run this how many friends names that you're gonna enter I'm gonna enter the names of five friends hit enter enter the name of friend one I'm gonna say Anil enter the name of the friend two I'm gonna say Lakshmish enter the name of the friend three um, any name Anjali enter the name of the friend four let's say Srish enter the name of the friend five let's say Sandeep and I'm gonna hit the enter button and it says your friends are Anil, Lakshmish, Anjali, Srish and Sandeep so you guys can see here you know the value is printed as we have entered that's because you know the entered values were stored in the array one by one and you know we just printed the values one by one so now you know if you guys can remove this parenthesis and you guys can check it what happens so I'm just gonna remove the parenthesis and I'm gonna run this now how many friends name that you're gonna enter I'm gonna enter five friends name enter the name of the friend 01 and let's say Anjali then you know you guys can say enter the name of the friend 11 so that's because here um, screen capture I can't show this all right now that's because you know it's gonna append the value of the counter variable you know which is uh, one in the second iteration and then it's gonna append the value one so it's just gonna appending two values you know it's not performing counter plus one so since we have the uh, operator plus for appending strings also you know it is appending the values so if we have the parenthesis here then it's going to perform counter plus one and then it's going to append that value to this string all right i'm going to close this and this is it this is how you guys can read the input from the user and you guys can store it in the array so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, you guys can get the source code of this tutorial in my web blog learning and also you know next tutorial